the Vampire 2. Uh, this is a Commonwealth ship here. We will be going over all the stats right here quickly, and then we'll jump into a game. I'm going to do a whole setup for you so that basically you can see exactly how I would set mine up if I were to have a level 12 Commonwealth Commander, because or even level 8. Let's go level 8. Let's see if I have that. I can do that. But right here, you have Advanced Gun Directive and Advanced Torpedo. Now, you only have one set of torpedo tubes, and you have a bunch of good guns, so that range is important. Your floods are nice, and they definitely do help, because you're at 23% flood chance, and maybe if you Doom Spear, that's getting close to about a 50% flood chance if you hit 5 right there. So overall, I definitely would buff the guns over the that, because in general, you're going to be using the guns to get a crap load of damage. The Doom Spears with your torpedoes just are there to help out and also discourage any rushing DDs. The overall historical camo versus the lovely little octopus camo right here you can see main gun battery range is right there versus ship point point and then torpedo range versus main gun battery firing range right there so right there off the bat i'd rather pick torpedo range but uh let's go with a little bit disgusting let's go with that when you know in reality losing a little bit of torpedo range on something that you're not really focused on yeah let's a little disgusting and get that ready right here we see you can destroy two enemy destroyers in a battle right there and then this one it does come with three engine accelerator twos this is to help kind of you dodge this ship is not very fast but it's very nimble so the engine accelerator will definitely help you start to dodge shells so see colombo shells if they're coming in crawling smoke generator we have the same thing as a hector right here but in this case we're not so big so in my opinion this might actually be just fine for it and everything that i've seen from other creators generally it's fine too so that's not exactly a crazy idea two sonar ones and two uh Air Defense Alert 2 is uh, in reality, when you look at the air defense, you're going to be shooting down a few, but in general, an FDR or a Malta or anything like that is still going to kill you pretty easily. So don't don't expect to, that to save you or anything. We do have single fire torpedoes right here. So as we move over, this is a specific gunboat. Now, as much as that's going to be want to do with that, you're going to want to be picking your engagements, but also your capability of disengagement. So you want to go for your high grade coal, your improved crew rations, because you want to be able to shoot faster in general. Now. You could run refined diesel or preventative diesel uh, back. In general, with the daring class, as this does come from the daring class, your preventative maintenance pack is not going to save your life. What is going to save your life is by having the shells not hit you. So you're going to want to run at refined diesel. Off the bat right here, you're not going to have to worry about main gun modder file one because in general, most ships don't use it. And you're obviously not going to be buffing your torpedo tube. So let's buff the reload on the guns. Moving to propulsion. This is one of the main key critical reasons why the daring is so good is its mobility. So buffing its mobility and it's capable of changing its speed constantly is key and critical to its success right there. So we want that. And then finally, of course, we want to be able to disengage your surf protection minus 10 percent on that you could run steering gear modification two this would be a obviously a pretty decent pick for it but overall you want to be able to disengage via your stealth as it is quite low on this ship We're not gonna be worrying about boosters let's go over to commanders right here and i think yeah i know i only have a level 12 commander on this uh let's see haida let's see if haida is all set up for this um heals we're gonna want to yeah we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna reset us so Right here off the bat, we're going to want emergency response because in reality, minus 3% on the DD ain't going to change much. And then, of course, aerobatic maneuver doesn't matter to a DD. The torpedo alert versus battlefield support. Now, you do have two and having an additional sonar does allow you to spam your sonars, which is definitely nice. Our repair expert who gives a crap in reality on that one. Torpedo alert is definitely a good pick. But I'm going to go for more utility and go for battlefield support. Preheating, I want to be able to get in position. This is not exactly a fast ship, so having a little bit additional speed to get where I want, whenever I want in the first beginning of the match, I'm going to want that. Your artillery maintenance sector is generally for everyone else. So we'll go preheating. Air defense alert. Yeah, no one's actually going to really, you're not really going to shoot anyone down. So just victorious charge your AAs and afterthought in here. You're going to want to run Daredevil because once you get a little bit lower, you're going to want to be able to dodge better because, of course, the ship doesn't exactly have the most HP. I think the Daring has more, if I'm remembering right. Exploit weakness sounds great in practice. Uh, I'm actually planning a video on this one, but it doesn't really increase your damage all that well. So being able to spam it and get sonars out faster is probably going to be what I'm going to choose because the other side, you're not going to want to get hit. So you don't want to be focused on uh, relying on generalists in order to help and keep you alive just a little bit longer. Right here, the only thing is fully prepared. Let's get your kit, uh, kit back. Mist Weaver Plus, that is a long cooldown on Crawling Smoke. Highly would suggest that. Next up, we do have Engine Accelerator right here. Highly would suggest it because A, you have Engine Accelerators. 
Why don't we have a skill to give us more engine accelerators for? I mean, come on, come on. What what is going on here? Finally, we have compartment or master reloader and honor seeker. You are a DD. You might actually get a particular kill off the bat. And this is why I would pick up honor seeker on DDs overall, because the other two, unless you have something for reloading, you're going to want to pick up honor seeker. Now, finally, you're going to be running APCS because, of course, you're a DD. You have small arms. Buffing this versus buffing that, you're going to want to take that over a lot. Now, finally, we have Giant Hunter, Citadel Strike, and Horizontal Production Expert. This one's actually kind of a who cares at this one. <laughs> I'm just going to go with Giant Hunter just to do a little bit extra damage. But Horizontal Production Expert, with how little armor you have, it's not really offering much either. So that's kind of what I'm going to go for. So, no, I, I feel the vampire. I feel it. Because I, I like I love the Cossack. I do. And this just feels like a different form of it. So it's just, you gotta get the right <laughs> game to get 100k <laughs> in. Destroyer mech. Nah, it's, it's, gotta, it's gotta be it's gotta be from the Mecklenburg Whisperer, though. Um, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we, we gotta have that. The one who's shown up is the tier, tier 7 German cruiser. I can definitely say no matter like no matter what, this is definitely pushing high competitive low meta. But I'm kind of wondering, it, realistically you just need Miss Weaver Red, don't you? You don't even need APCS on this. You don't need the last three. The only reason you'd really need APCS is to reliably full pen DDs at range, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So you really could have a fairly easy level 8 commander. That's not hard to get the level 8. Well, no, so... uh, the reason I said level 9 is because you want to at least have the engine boost skill. Oh, that's true, it's also, yeah. It's also that pretty, true. uh, that's true. pretty, uh, that's pretty key in this ship, considering you, you kind of rely on the engine boost as a part of your gimmick. It's like, can you play a ship with 8 guns at tier 10? You mean the Sleepin? You mean the Nevsky? You ships with 8 guns at tier 10. There's a lot of destroyers at tier 10 with 8 guns. Uh, Speaking of destroyers, I should have to keep on recording more Clubair gameplay since everyone wants a Clubair video. Ooh, I heard. I heard. Torpedo drops. Alright, so this Vampire and Black Harlem are out of NDA. I think it's... Oh, no, there's one more ship that's not out of NDA yet. That still hasn't even been... Probably tested. What? The Sun Yet Sun. The pan the Pan-Asian battleship. Tier 9. The, the one that everyone forgot about. The one that no one forgot about. I think in the roadmap map aesthetic comes out in November, so we'll see. Isn't that the one that nobody gives a fuck about? Yeah, because it's Savetsky oh. Soyuz with like the with, like the the Kremlin guns. <laughs> okay, He's so long range. actually no what? correction. Oh. It's the it's what the, the Savetsky Soyuz with six Kremlin guns. Ah, that's, that's I can't I can't I can't shoot these at long range. I just so, can't. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the small ones though. I heard that was a problem. Mm. Show my motto, Do I go to Spurgeon or? Uh, we Dispersion. 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 You're gonna get your turret shot off anyway. I was gonna say those things lose their turrets often anyways. Maze just run dispersion. Yeah. Also you just you have your shotgun, so make your shotgun better. Okay, Ro, let me know what ships you want me to play. I've got a bit of a list, but I got on early hey. specifically so that I can play a little longer. So hey. I've gotta play <clears throat> so I've gotta play everyone's favorite A tier cruiser, the Sun Martin. Uh very competitive. I'm still debating on that one. Tier 10 still cruiser, my bad. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I don't know, I'm still debating on that Oh, the tier 8 cruiser is also pretty competitive, to be honest, though. Yeah, Ignacio, yeah, Ignacio is, yeah. Like, that's like, technically not a wrong statement, either. Um, any tips on the, the daring sparks? I don't... You just gotta walk in their face. <laughs> That's about it. That's, that, that's all I can recommend. You gotta walk in their face. Yeah. You can't miss it that range, or at least I hope not. Oh, it's different. Hey, look at our hero. That's okay. Okay, I definitely want one. Well, Eisenman is for actually shooting AP at this Molensk. We hit the enemy. He knows the way. I'm just like, My I friend. learned. I've learned. Gotta watch out for that Vermont because this can get full pen from Vermont's. Derry can also get full pen by Vermont's. 
What? Yeah. Yep, right there. Right there. That was freaking perfect. I played Daring enough to know that Vermont opens. Well, as long as they don't have like APCS or APCS plus, I assume. I think if they have, if they have, if they have either, they, they probably don't full pin you as often, but. Have a taste of your own medicine, Smolens. <laughs> you saw right there, Ramon hit all the battles. Is all the damage gone? All the HP? Got a few torpedoes. I got a few torpedoes. That's not bad. What do we got here? We got, okay, Gina. I, I, this is where I, I'm like... I know it's only got two smokes and it, it is quite nice. I kind of much would rather have like six fuel smokes instead. It's gonna be my best game, but I got. I'm getting all the meat I want right now at Shimamanto. I got a Kansas nut shooting me. Never mind, I don't have any. Infamous game class. Ah, crap. Damn it. Didn't, yeah, I did. I overturned on that last bit. GG. 64. Oh, well, I'll be honest. Um, I walked right into all of your all of your torpedoes twice. Who? And I had sonar up. And I had sonar up. But oh. okay, your first like your first two were just like lag torps. I'm like, bruh, I had four torps that never did hit my screen. Wait, who are? Yeah. Are you? Did you change your name? Who? Me? Or are you talking to somebody else? No, I was talking to Storm. Oh, yeah. okay. Gosh, I was like... So like have you noticed the Vampire too widespread on the Torps? Yeah, it's really wide. Dude, I was playing Daring today. Dude, the widespread on Daring is better than nothing. Yeah, it's the no, same don't, quintuple you don't, launcher. You don't Why on Earth does Vampire has such widespreads? Uh, it makes it balance. You, yeah. No, it makes it balanced, but like, it's not like Daring has necessarily um, good widespread angles either. Wait, a bit off topic, can we have a black and eyes now? Yes, we definitely can. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. we can. Black and eyes now. Um, or even yeah. black I think, I'm pretty sure Ohio. Ohio. I'm Ohio. I haven't played play Ohio in a long time. I hate pretty I sure even really pretty sure. don't like the Shukushima. Pretty really sure Hargumo even has better widespreads than uh, Vampire. Good try. Good check. Dude, the widespread on Vampire is bad. It is actually it's, bad. It is bad, yeah, it is. It is, like, unbelievably bad. Yeah. Like, they could have kept the... I wouldn't have cared if it was daring widespread, but 64. the widespread it has is ridiculous. I did the most damage so, yeah, that game. I did. I, I got that going yeah, for me, I, I, I guess. The widespread what? <laughs> it's going to keep you from getting it. Oh, no, man. you still get it, because, I no, mean, I honestly, you, the widespread, you're going to use it mainly when you're just chucking torps in the random area. <laughs> But it's just going to be kind of annoying sometimes. Caro, I think that's the most balanced idea that you've said in a little while. It's a super Columbo. Why not? Why not a super Columbo, everyone? Why not? 32 guns. Screw it. 32 guns on a battleship? Yo, that's a one minute reload no. right there. No. That's the one time machine. That's, that's, the one... that's the one time machine. Oh, wait, it's called FDR. Yeah. And then put it at tier 8. Not tier 10, tier 8. Tier 8. <laughs> tier 8! FDR, the new tier 8. No, he's referring to the Super Columbo. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to see either of them in tier 8. Okay. You have to combat the Atlanticos. Oh my goodness. Yes, because in a non Atlantico game, we need another OP tier 8. Yeah, totally. Of course. Of course. Well, it's like, come on. This is, this is just the way tier 8 works. Gotta get replaced by a new OP ship every time. <laughs> Wouldn't be tier 8 without a new OP ship entering every few months. DZP um, needs to be balanced, and if you're not going to nerf it, you have to add at least two ships to counter. Whoa! Whoa, last, wait a minute, last, hold on. What's, what's the last time you faced a good DZP in randoms, though? Yeah, like, I've, I've, I've killed a few like a with the Horidino. 
And the board game I mean. really like, should be countered. Like the about DZP, you don't even play t rig <laughs> I know. Well, I've been grinding the Golden Leo. I need, I need, I need APCS on Golden Leo so badly. Okay. No, Matt, I think well, I have a better idea. Rapid reload. I have a better idea, Matt. How about we get DZP at tier ten with the Rapid Reload four and an extra airstrike? I think it's a great idea. Rapid it's a great idea. That's, that, that's, that's a great good. idea. Only, you keep the, only you keep the, you keep the same gun. If they make Rapid go with three kills for Austin, I would do it. Yeah, I'll trade. I'll take that. No, I'll you would not. No, I'll you take that. Not. I'll take that. <laughs> I would get three kills and then just wreck havoc with one rapid reload. Hey, but think it's about it, Matt. Think, think about it, Matt. Though. You think, Matt, does the, Matt, Matt, does the average Austin player though get to that amount before dying? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it just, I only, only got to. I only got to worry about you. I only got to worry about you. Mm, let's see what we got. So, it's an uh, oddly high arc. I feel like an oddly hard. What do you think? What do you think after a couple games? Left? Is it worth getting? Fames. I don't know. Let me. I got. I got two DDs in cap right now that I gotta murder real quick. Oh no! The one disadvantage you have over Darren, you have worse hydro range. The one thing that Darren will actually do better than you have every single time is having better okay, hydro. But War gaming needs to fix smoke, click. If a destroyer can go unspotted, everything around him should go unspotted. If he's nah, no nah, I'm gonna keep the nah, nah, nah. We should keep it like that. You know, I like it like this. I like it like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Like, I like playing freeze when we go to farm. I like being able to play freeze on the farm. Ah, uh, uh, no, I over, I overturned it. Took the Honestly, Matt, I would rather have a detection uh, rework. And hey, look, but, another Matt. I would rather everything. I'd rather ban CVs. Oh, yeah, I'd rather ban CVs. That's well, awesome. that That's not If that was an option, we we wouldn't have to. If that was an option, we'd take the option. But because it's not an option, we I take the concealment one. Okay, that at, actually, at, least, at least with the game. game. No, think about how many think about how many times you can survive with the section. Hi, yeah, buddy. You know how much broken mm. the section would be? As if it wasn't already broken enough, the concealment mode. No, I mean, like, look at it in PC. Even in there, it's broken. Yeah. yeah. Now, I think like, it's a lot harder Jackson, to... could you please reach out to Beast067? They need help. They, they need, they need professional heaven. They need, they need professional help in learning how to play their, their Mecklenburg. Wait, Mecklenburg players not learning, not knowing how to play the game? Is this shocking news? Wait, hold uh, on. Are you actually, are you, what's getting me is that he's actually referring him to Jackson. I know. Uh, because Jackson could use the help too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm 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 kidding. I'm kidding. New Mecklenburg players, <laughs> you're just gonna make them end up tuning all game, all the time. Just wait. Honestly, why are we gonna play? I just want more help. I just want more help. Ban CV for replacing more. submarines? No, dude, stop, stop, stop messing me. Like, we're stop. not doing something. We just need more of these Mecklenburg players. Like, we need more of these Mecklenburgs, and we can farm more damage. I feel like I'm actively losing out on damage because I'm just not a good shot with the Daring's guns, which is just going to take a long time to learn. It's going to take, uh, you know, a bunch of games, but I'm I'm enjoying myself. I'm not mad. I I feel like this is definitely in the right hands is going to be disgusting. Uh, it doesn't require anything too high level on skills, which is nice, which is you know super handy for uh, newer players or mid mid players who just don't have many of the uh, uh, commanders. Um, I still feel that maybe another smoke would be nice, but that might just be OP at that point too. Do you think it's OP at this of... point or not? Huh? So do you think it's OP right now or not? No, it's no not OP at all. Oh my god, no. Uh, it's guns. You can clearly like I, I'm. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get taken down slowly. I don't like that. But its guns are annoying. They're not like end all be all kill. Yeah. I think once well, when it's in gonna smoke, like they're gonna be good. Control. Yeah. Like 59k is really not bad for m only two torpedo heads and a crap load of gun heads. That's really not that bad. Um, especially with how many DDs are in this game. So, I would say 
I would say with the right commander and the right player behind it, I think you're definitely pushing meta with this. Because it's very when, when consistent, I'll, and that's I'll what you, you know want. I'll let you know well, slide what the what well red. The unfortunately, does. you can literally you could take any DD in this game or even light cruiser and make it metal. That's not the that's yo, not yo, the yo, that's yo, not the you point. You want to donate me in Austin? You want to donate right. me in Austin? Yeah, that's, I was like, you'll make the Austin like disgusting. To, uh, uh, no, um, I would like to say that red does not make all light cruisers work. <laughs> that no, definitely not. All of but <laughs> no, I I see someone who understands the gun mode and also can handle the arcs. You know, it, it took me forever to learn how to actually clubair because the arcs are very annoying. But once you learn them, it's disgusting. Um, really nice ship, uh, and very strong. Almost, you know, I I don't agree completely with the meta pick on that one, but at the same time, I see it. Um, with this ship, it's. With the right game, this thing is going to be just like annoying to play against, annoying to deal with, do a crap load of consistent damage over time. But I think just like with the Druid, you just push on it. But what the Druid doesn't have is you have the Torps to prevent any form of just push on. I don't like that. Okay, well, also, and the Druid does have a lot of damage. I've had a lot of damage to it, so... There's, there's a pretty big difference, though, between this and Druid, and the fact that this thing can actually kite and do damage while kiting. Druid can't kite and do damage. That's true. That's true. Yeah, so Druid it's... I feel like this is a... a... running away department. Like, I'm liking... I'm liking... I'm in... I'm... I'm enjoying myself, but I'm frustrated because I just have... I don't have enough time behind the belt, you know, behind the seat on it. Yeah, I it's could see. I could see this being really good and in a lot of players' hands, much better than mine. But I already don't like the daring, like kind of ship in general. And single launch torpedoes. Sometimes you have games where you just hit them all, and some games you, you just don't. I'd much rather. It's not my type of ship. I enjoy it. It's not bad. I'll play it again on stream sometime. I like that. It's not a FDR situation. It's not a. A Smolensk bullshit situation. Um, and let alone, also, it's a cheap build. It's getting to level 9 is not exactly a crazy ask for a player, especially when there's not many common wall ships. So, and the way that it's it's really, how does this ship come out? If it's a That's great, rest in peace. Yeah. Like, it's not bad. I, I, I think I, I think I just got games where it just doesn't do as well in that situation. So. We don't need a soup of Vermont. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, no, we no. don't. No, we don't. No. Vermont smash is enough. 50% reload oh, reduction. I just, <laughs> rapid, I just got rapid reload three weeks on, but. I think I'm going to go back to crawling smoke. Still needs a cooldown reduction. Eh, like I don't 20 know. seconds off. Though, when you only have two, though, do you really need to waste those too fast on, the, on this ship? Yeah. Well, I just want it for Hector. Um, <laughs> I've actually um, heard that many bad things about Hector. It's just not that great either. It's 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 okay. It works. It's just not. But no, I think overall Vampire 2, I just didn't get the games in order to get the damage. But I'm not, I'm not angry about it. Not this is actually a pretty. It's a pretty solid ship, I think, with the right player behind it. Definitely meta. Definitely could be very meta just because of the amount of smoke you offer. Uh, you can do some silly freaking strategies there. You can hunt down DDs with some pretty consistent DPM. You can uh, engine boost around so you can reposition yourself, and you can use your pitiful AA to shoot down one or two planes. So, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. And also a daring class, so it just looks amazing as a destroyer. Yeah, it does look pretty. It does it look pretty slick. good. It looks slick. I, I don't I don't know about the octopus camo, but I'm not yeah, I'm octopus not camos, get, get that out of here. Get that out of here. It's not as bad as the Henri's Halloween camo. So I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll whoa, take whoa, that. that's a that's oh. an unfair comparison. That is an unfair comparison. I was like, let me Are let's try the vampire too. Like I I want to I want to have a good game. Like it's just. But are you spawning D flank? Hmm. Did you where did you spawn? Are you on my team? Yeah, I'm on your team. Don't believe it. He's on the other one. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm on. I'm on B. I don't believe. What do you mean? Don't believe him, Bowen? Get this out of here. <laughs> don't blast me don't out of here. <laughs> no. no, I was like, let's play the Vampire 2 one more time. Let's just see if I can get a decent 
Like, if I get another decent 60k game, I'll take it. Like, just, it, it really, it does feel very consistent. Um, but I'd like to see that if I can get like a little more. Uh, well, that's good. Is a, uh, Zaku, actually. Hey, Zaku, you're you're a, a mid tier Warframe and uh, and Warframe. Um, hopefully, you're decent in this game. I think that was the Des Moines that got like 16k last game. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, so was, he's but... so he's mid tier, just like Warframe. Mid? <laughs> he's mid. <laughs> he's mid. In, in mid tier in Warframe, you're shit. In mid, yeah, it's yeah. It, no S. There are S tier Warframes that just do everything. Okay, but in Zaku's offense, I don't think I was spotted, and I did like half his HP. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Also, your map. Hey, Steve, though. <laughs> Steve, I can just Steve Steve rat. There's different. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. They counter each other. They counter each other. Uh, BB. No, oh, okay. Both BBs. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yo, what is this Rogolo doing? I don't know. Whatever he's That's doing. Quite this is quite the play from the Rogolo. Yeah, do you want to beat him up? Are you are you here? Uh, I don't I don't got angles on him. Oh, okay. I'll beat him up then. Imagine if he shoots an HP at you. Imagine he uh, doesn't even shoot you. Look that okay, Sly. You got like, yeah, he's... like head up here and start farming. This is a damn disaster. That's where I'm trying to. Okay, I just have a, a Regolo in front of me, and Regolos will rip me apart. Nah, he's Kaiji. We're all good. <laughs> we're all good. <laughs> yeah, we're all good. He's out of gun range. Yes, he's well out of gun range. Also, uh, what is what is the Regolo gonna do? Stone, are you? Wow, well, oh, I didn't know we were in a ruler's uh, way of match here. Regolo can kill vampires. Oh, that Regolo needs to get in the and there's not a CV, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm not. I'll get good matchmaking. I'm not playing, and I'm happy too. How can you be happy and not be playing? Don't think <laughs> That's the thing. You got to experience not playing. I don't think uh, I have yep. Not dodge them. Oh my god, let's click dodge. Thank you. Well, Darian, like that's why I was like, I can see it. I can definitely oh, see just of, how got, much fun this is. That's why you got problems, Sly. You got problems. What? I don't have problems. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you, I thought you were going to keep on backing up for a second. I was kind of concerned. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. No way. Both of the okay. battles nope. right now have the NPCS camera. Why? What is this? I don't know what they all went up here, but okay. I, I don't know what they're doing either, okay? I believe Sly. Sly. <laughs> Is it DD? That's a good point. If you, if, to be fair, yeah, I guess it could have gone south. Enemy yep. Him. I like going to south in this map. I don't know why. Me too. I mean, I am losing some. This is outrageous to face, bro. Three bow in cruisers. What is this? Target Russian him. bias. No, it's not Russian, but it's the one. Which we Russian bias? <laughs> I like when bias. is the one been Russian? I like bias. I like how I get half ends on Kaba at max range. Kaba got that OP belt armor. It's so OP, he gets full of that of Okay, now I'm Oh, that guy's going backwards. Nah, no, that's, yeah, that's on my range. Bro, what is up with all these? I don't know, right? Hi, Red. Hello. Okay, this is like, a, like actually kind of annoying dealing with this one. Actually, kind of broken. Interesting. Yeah, I'm dead here. Nice yeah. Uh, uh, 35. Yeah, I think it's just. God, it's tanky. It's pretty good. I just was not landing those torps, so I wasn't okay, getting like, damage. Why is our battle? Why is our uh, black Montana in the top corner of the map? Red, look at where I'm at. That that ass. Dude, question. the Black Montana's. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit the Vermont. I'm gonna hit the Vermont. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take 50k. I'll take. I, I really. It does feel consistent. It does. And if you're, you know, you're probably more playing the Vampire two more. I'm betting you actually have some pretty Airport solid games. Yeah. I could definitely see meta in the right hands. I can see very consistent. I can see high competitive. I think I think I'm gonna set it at high competitive, just because not many people have Commonwealth ships and a good Commonwealth commander. 
pretty rare. Hmm. Where's Regola? A high competitive meta. Like, that was a fun game. That was actually just me just dodging a bunch. How much did you do? Only 50k, but it felt like I felt like I did it. I, I felt like I did my part in holding off the fight. I felt like I was able to really uh, pester everyone, and I took a. I, I'd say I took a lot of shells. So. Okay. Oh my gosh, Red. I'm not mad about that game. No. Much better than last game. I got that going for me. <laughs> um, so I keep all the clips of him sinking in the Kasaka. <laughs> I thought you were going to be talking about by a random lag tour. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, oh my yeah. On my screen, all your torps dodge in a random and I get hit by some no clip torp. Okay. No, Nas, it's 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 quite hilarious, actually, how many times you've... I think I actually have another video of you dying. Actually, I think I have two. Magnetic torps love to see it, just like the good old days. That was some really bad magnetic torps. Yeah, actually, actually, I don't even know it was magnetic. That was just a random, like, actual la random lag torp. Kind of me. Torps. The torps weren't even in my inbox, and they just randomly hit me. That was just a genuine lag torp. Yeah, I have two. I have two more clips, but one isn't. Oh, actually, no. I do. I do. I don't kill you in one. I don't kill you in one. Yeah, I, I've got a hilarious uh, Guardians of the Galaxy meme with with you. I still remember the good old days of CV Lightcore. Oh, those were great. No, no it was I... worse when the CVs had better. When the CVs could use the exploit, where they could make the return bug. Oh God, I remember that was the actually the bug. worst part. That was whenever that when it, when they fixed that CVs became like ten times easier to face in this game. Basically, every Haku man in existence just uh, disappeared from the game. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Like all of the mediocre Haku players really started to just show how good they were. Okay, so there's no arming. Distance. In reality, I, f I felt like I did it. I felt like I did what I needed to as a DD. I held the cap. I pushed away a few DDs. It's I probably could have shot better, which that just takes time. No, I I don't mind. Like if I got the vampire too, I wouldn't. I'd play it. <laughs> I would. I play, I'm like I'll the play, druid. Play it on your account for you. Um, okay, so, so my question is, um, would you play it a lot though? Does it have a fun factor to it? Or does it? I think it does with the, I, more of a blah play style? So mm, this is where I think also vampire two. You know, per se, doing those meme squads, getting one or two around, grabbing That's a minotaur, a plan, and, and like that. I have a feeling the the vampire two is that great support ship where you know it's going to handle just about everything pretty well, but it's going to be what can it give its crawling smoke to and its capabilities to that now just make it go nutso. And I think that's where it definitely bleeds into them the area because it's just it's such a good ship in the first place. Pairing it with something like per se a regolo. God forbid you put a regolo sitting in the smoke with this thing. You now have a DD smashing platoon where they they can't see him if they don't have uh, sonar. Um, a bunch of people have been saying grab two of these and bring a schlieffen into your game. Now all of a sudden you can sneak a schlieffen across the flank, which is wait just hilarious. <laughs> Did you bring a Nakima with this? Yeah, you could. You that would be really funny. Two <laughs> vampires with a Nakimov. Imagine if the Nakimov walked oh. around sending planes using guns. That'd, that'd be really funny. That I could see. Like that's where it's like if you pair this with something that could use crawling, crawling smoke, and you and you work with your team, you already have a good ship. Oh my! Add on imagine something like, that adds more. Imagine, like, imagine like, have imagine you have like an on resitting in that smoke. <laughs> exactly. It's your now. You're gonna sneak something in. Especially if you have two of these, you're gonna be able to sneak across an entire flank Wait. as long as they don't have any uh, sonar. Forget, forget Henri. Think about Vanessa. Okay, so so that the biggest too. thing is um, that I've noticed is uh, in competitive like King of the Seas, they will actually sneak a Des Moines with a Napoli because Napoli has crawling smoke, and they will just like hard push one side, and it's kind of crazy. They you know you can just push up to an island. That, exactly. That's Imagine something that's like, something where a high DPM ship and you just like chill yeah. and smoke the whole game. Like yeah. First, hey, or or first. sneak an Austin into the right position. Oh my you know, god, do it. Do it. Austin's with this thing? It, it, imagine like a sleeping push that no one sees coming in, like ruler of the waves or something. That would be nuts. Yep. 
Uh, but no, it's, it, I, in my opinion, I think that there's a lot of cool things you can do with the vampire, and that's where I'd probably play it more, is I'd play it with other people. But overall, it's still a su super nimble DD. You know, that game I screwed up and didn't, I could have used my smoke a little bit earlier, done with that, and I took a few hits that I shouldn't have. But it's like, no, if you know how to use the daring, you know how to use the guns, this is a, this is a perfectly fine, good chip. Well, imagine you have a vampire 2 pushing in. You have the gearing pop smoke with Sims, the gearings in smoke with the ship, and then you pop the vampire to smoke again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, I could yeah. see that. I could already imagine the synergy with the shores. Yeah. It sounds like I, fun, but it sounds like it's a little old. It's a little old over time. Mm, I think, I think so it's, many by its... There's so yeah. many combinations, it's kind of endless, honestly. Vampire it, 2 Ragnar. I was thinking of Ragnar. I was thinking of Ragnar. You could do Ragnar. I was at, you know, I was thinking, you know, what could else we do besides Venezia there? Ronigan. Nah, it doesn't really work as well. You could just play Friesland. Uh, <laughs> Sam Martin, sneak a cold there. Golden and Lion would become insane. Think about Golden and Lion. Uh, <laughs> not really. I could see that. Uh, Wait, no, no, don't tell me you can hide a Vermont this thing. If you can hide a Vermont, you in there. You can. How about at Napoli? It's just, you, you're now rubbing up. Napoli like, you have to well. Wait, 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 wait. Imagine you see Colombo in this. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Sneaka incompa uh, Incomparable. <laughs> As if Incomparable need oh a smoke. Oh my goodness. Yeah, right? you need a smoke. Ariana's no, Sneaka Borgania. Sneaka Borgania in there. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't even think about Borgania. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, that's the thing, is I feel like this ship is, as much as, you know, as much as I know Red and, or Matt, you guys could probably pr turn this into meta, 200k, 90k average. I think the average player, this is definitely more of something where you, you add this to a, a equation and it just becomes a force multiplier, similar to like, I mean, uh, what's that? The, I definitely the recommend it to anyone who wants. Yeah. I recommend it to anyone who likes playing HE spamming destroyers, that's for sure. Like you know, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really get that many game. fires. I know. What is the fire <laughs> chance on this? It's only got a 3% fire chance. That's not. Yeah, but when you have when you reload that fast, the, you notice true, the yeah. fire. That is true. I was like, I really was getting inconsistent fires tonight, but that just could be me, you know. Yeah, overall, Vampire 2. I wouldn't mind having it. Like, I, I don't think I'm gonna, like, I'm not like, I need to have this ship. Like, San Martin, I want, I really do want San Martin. Oh, uh, and the Rigolo. Once I actually get through the Luca. God. Luca. Uh. Where do you put on the tier list, Steve? Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be high competitive, low meta. I don't want that, and that's, it's, I think it's gonna. I don't know. Uh, Red, I know you're definitely meta. And of course, you might be quiet at this point. No. I think it's meta. Well, for Steve, sure. it's definitely gonna be meta. Yeah, for Steve, it will be too. It will definitely be meta. Um, I think for what? the majority of players. Steve's though, above meta. Yeah, nah, Steve, Steve, Steve was put it in niche. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Matt, 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 the best one, needs fixing, it needs fixing, it needs more gun range, it needs more fire oh, yeah. chance. Vampire 2 needs a new low, it needs a rapid reload 3. Rapid reload 3, it, it needs, yeah, needs St. Vincent, yeah, yeah. Vincent Super Heal, St. Oh no. no. <laughs> Vincent Super Heal. Oh my god, no. I think that it's St. No, Vincent Super Heal with the Goliath Extra Heal, so you have 3 Imagine of them. Imagine taking 50k in a destroyer. I, I, don't have to, yeah. I don't have to imagine, Matt, I can do that in Druid already. Alright, yeah, but, different. Uh, but no, Steve, I definitely say that Vampire 2 is low meta, high competitive. I think for most people it's going to be competitive, and I think if you're in platoons, the Vampire 2 is definitely meta, just because it's just, you can do some silly stuff in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Unlike the Hector, because just Hector takes up too much of its uh, smoke. I don't like that, because you just look at the size differences, and it's just so much, super easy to hit. But Vampire 2, I, I, I don't mind it. I, I just, I couldn't get a good game in it, and... But I like experiencing it first, you know, first time with all of you and uh, play around and see what it's like.